magma and everything else underneath there. And when the volcanoes erupt, they just become new land masses. And so that's why, you know, islands and stuff exist. You know, they might still be attached to like the bottom of the ocean, so they're not going anywhere. Um, and so then you have these like big land masses that um, exist. So, and they can also just pop up anywhere. Isn't that what the um, What's that new movie? San Andreas? San Andreas? Uh, San Andreas, yeah. yes. Isn't that kind of like, isn't that about like a volcano? Or no, it's an earthquake. 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 There was another, uh, there's a couple really good movies about like a volcano just popping up in California. Yeah, I mean, they're not old, yeah, like, they're like the 90s and well. 80s and 90s about like volcanoes popping up in California too. Uh -huh. So, um, and then, yeah, there's, what was the one? Um, Vesuvius? Vesuvius? That's over in. Vesuvius? Uh, no, it's, it's, I think it's in Greece. It's the uh, volcano that exploded in like ancient Greek time. And it coated like the entire city and it oh. fossilized everybody. Pompeii? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pompeii. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so it's like. Uh, big yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. It's a movie. Yeah, that, that's the movie I was thinking of. Um, yeah, and like everybody's just like fossilized, and so they're, the scientists are still trying to figure out ways to like that they can study these people well, completely, you know, sealed, ready to go. Like, there's like there's no better way they could have preserved themselves. So, <laughs> but if they uh, if they like try to do anything to them, like they could just shatter and break. So they have to be really extremely careful. But I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so we've got a volcano, a lake. I've kind of already gone. So it's just like new, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. another like, body of water. It's yeah. it's smaller than an ocean, smaller than the sea. Mm -hmm. It's usually covered on all four sides. With, you know, land. But it's bigger than a gulf, right? Mm -hmm. It can be, yeah. Yeah, because a gulf is encapsulated by three sides. So three sides of that water has, um, you know, land around. And the sea could have like all four sides are covered, or it could be open, kind of like um, uh, what was it like a Mediterranean Sea? Like it opens and it will go to like the English or not English Ocean, uh, Atlantic Ocean. But for the most part, like it stays pretty much well defined in there, like Europe and Africa. So and, um, yeah, like the Red Sea, like the Caribbean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea. Oh uh, yeah, it's just I mean, it, I mean it'll it touches the ocean too, but yeah. for the most part it's contained by that land between Europe and Africa. Um, but yeah, it's usually outwards. So we we can look up our map. There's a ton of different seas. So there's the oceans, there's the seas that exist in between the oceans, and then we've got lakes and the other sorts of bodies of water that exist. Yeah. I think it isn't that the Persian Sea, or no, that's the Persian. I think it says the Persian Gulf. The Red Sea. Yeah, the Red Sea. A uh, Persian Gulf right here. Yeah, Red Sea's right here. The Red Sea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. And the Mediterranean. Mediterranean is right here. Then we've got the Black Sea that exists right up between Turkey and. Yeah, Lake Chad, right there. Yeah, right there in the middle of that. Yeah. So, where's the, where's a lake in the United States or a sea? Yeah, probably that'd be your best way if you're gonna take a boat. Let's go around, or you can go around the other way. I mean, that would take a little longer. Yeah. So it's kind of world, like weird when you're looking at maps. Because you gotta remember, this is a globe, and so it's easier like to go from like from Indiana, like right here, to go to like. Uh, like China, it could be even easier to like fly like this all the way across. So you're not making like a straight line. So it's easier to like fly up and over or fly across, and then just like making a straight line. So that's a good one. Yeah.
That's Antarctica. It's, uh, it's pretty much just snow and ice down there. So we've got that. All right. And the woods are under a mountain range. Well, do you, does everybody know what a mountain range is? Oh, oh yeah, mountains. Well, oh, a lot of them. I know the range is like a soldier. Yeah, that's a ranger. A ranger. Right? Ranger. Yeah, yeah. And then the range is just the, what we call like a group of mountains together. So like the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, the Rocky Mountains, yeah, those are like just like a good range of mountains. So um, different sizes, a lot of mountains together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There'll be a bunch of them, and there might be a couple of smaller ones. So it's like a big range, so they vary in size. There's a lot of them. So that's a mountain range. I think we'll the mountain range in the United States. Yeah, we have two of them. So we have the There's the Smoky Mountains, which are. Near Kentucky. Yeah, near Kentucky. There's a lot of caves in there, too, which is really cool. Um, so you have the Smoky Mountains, which run along the east coast here. So, and also, also forest. Mm -hmm. so that's right here. And then we have the Rocky Mountains, which are on the other side. So it's near Denver and Colorado. And then once you start getting out to like Utah and Nevada, it turns more into like a desert. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. And like you go out there at night, and you can just see stars and stars and stars from it's a great way if you ever if you ever feel like you're too big, if that makes sense. Like if you ever feel like, oh yeah, this world is really small. Like you go out there and you got like the mountains and everything. It's just it's all been carved by water, so there's no like straight corners. Everything's got like a curve on it, and everything's like this gorgeous red or purple or some sort of color. And then you look up at the stars and you just feel like a little grain of sand. Yeah. <laughs> and you just kind of stare out and you're just like, I can't believe, like, I, I, I you really question why anybody builds buildings. <laughs> At least I did. I was like, oh, I, don't, I don't understand why anybody would ever want to, like, try to cover this up. This is unreal. Um, yeah, if you ever get a chance to go out to Utah or most desert. I, I imagine it's one of those, like most deserts where there's no human light, no artificial like light bulbs or anything, and you just look up and you're just, you just yeah, that's about <laughs> it. There's no other way to describe it, but just like okay. Well, what do you think about the Grand Canyon? It's better than uh, Smoky Mountain. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's a that's a tough. One. I think that's yeah, a matter. I I like the Grand Canyon. That's a that's a good um, that's a good question. Has anybody ever asked you like, would you rather be a mountain or a valley? Oh, or a mountain or a lake or something like? Would you rather be like this big tall object or would you rather be like this big body of water? Yeah, everything. Yeah, about the niche. Yeah, abs yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know. It's it's like um. It's like an icebreaker question for people. Like when you get to meet somebody, like, would, would you rather be a mountain or a lake? Like, oh, I'd rather be a lake. Uh, you mean you mean that, that that people want to camping? Well, not just camping, but like 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 has anybody ever asked you um, like if you could be any kind of animal, what would you be? Oh, uh, yeah, what kind of animal? No, no, like like if if uh, you like your spirit was an animal, what would it be? Oh, uh, tiger. Yeah, it's like a good question like this. So it's like one of those questions where you're trying to get to know somebody. You're like, oh, if you could be a mountain or a lake, and like if your spirit. Like a strong mountain. Yeah, would you rather be like a big strong mountain or like a big strong lake or like a really calm lake? Uh -huh. So it's just an expression. It's like an expression, or you could just say it to get to know somebody. Because if somebody, uh, they might be like, oh, I would, I would, I would love to be a mountain. Right. It's like I want to see. I want to make sure I can see over everything. I want to be like the big tall rock. Yeah. And then there's people like I would want to be a lake because lakes are more mysterious and you can't see the bottom of them. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. I think I, I love the oceans. Yeah. The deep ocean. Yeah. Yeah. The deep, the deep ocean. Yeah. 
And so, or like, it'd be like, I want a hot, like, I would much, I wouldn't be like a calm body of water and then like be able to provide for people, but if I need to like be turbulent and be mean. <laughs> But like mountains are like steady, just the rocks, they don't move. No, no, one, <laughs> no one wants to be a, a road or a street. Yeah, <laughs> nobody, wants nobody wants to be the tree on the mountain either. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's just, it's, you should try that like uh, when you meet somebody for the first time, ask them, you know, if you're, if you're having that awkward silence where it's, you're both just like kind of sitting and like, <laughs> like, like, hey, you know, would you rather be a mountain or a lake? Would you rather? Yeah. Um, would you rather? Yeah. And you could say, you could be like, would you rather be a door or a window? <laughs> <laughs> and you could change it to that, you know. And it's, it's kind of fun when you ask people those questions and get the responses back. So. So I, uh, I, don't I can, I can say uh, I would rather to be a window than a door. You would just say, I would rather be, and then your answer from there. Can I use them? No, no, no. Well, you could use them. I would rather be a blank. I would rather, I would like, uh, for, a movie, uh, for example, for movies, I would rather to see uh, an action movie than a uh, drama. Yeah, you would say, I, I'd rather see an action movie rather than. Uh, I'm confused about then or then, with A or with B? With A. With an A. With A. Yeah. So let's go ahead. We, we got on a fun little tangent there, but I think we got on a good tangent. This means we got off our main course. But well, yeah, let's go ahead and move over to page 28, and we'll look at our photo story. Um, I like the way these guys talk, so I'm going to cue them up. And we'll listen to this. Photo story. Read and listen to two tourists talking about Costa Rica. Have you folks been here long? A little over a week. Unfortunately, we've only got two days left. You? We just got here yesterday, actually. I'm Frank, by the way. Frank Lu, from Hong Kong. Max Belli, from Labo, Italy. Have you heard of it? I can't say I have. It's a very small town, about 20 kilometers north of Rome. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the La Fortuna waterfall, would you? We plan on driving up there this weekend. Actually, we just got back from there yesterday. Uh, what a coincidence! Was it worth seeing? Spectacular. You don't want to miss it, but be sure to take it slow on the path down to the bottom of the falls. It can get pretty wet and slippery. Thanks for the warning. What if we want to get a look at the Arenal Volcano, too? Do you think that's doable in two days? No problem. The volcano is only about 20 minutes west of La Fortuna by car, so I'm sure you could handle them both. Alright, so we got Max and Frank here talking about visiting Costa Rica. So let's go ahead and move down to section D. And uh, look at some of their phrases that they use. So uh, to say they use the following statements, and we'll explain them in our own way. So again, we'll just I like this just we have a conversation format. Feel free to yell out things and just be respectful and don't talk about it. So number one, I can't say I have. So what does that mean? This is this is any any what? I don't have any any Yeah, like like. I can't say I have, so it's like. Uh, I, I didn't see. Uh, I can't. I don't have. Yeah, like I'm not sure. Like I, um, like this is another way of kind of saying no. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, like I'm not sure. 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 Like I have heard of it, or I haven't, you know, so it's kind of a polite way of saying, like, no, I've not heard of it. So <laughs> he's like, have you heard of my hometown? And he's like, no. <laughs> this is better than no. No, exactly. He's like, oh, I can't say I have heard. Like, you, you know, you, 
you'd like to know more. So it's like, much respect. Exactly, it's yeah. very, very respectful. Oh, yeah. It's polite. Yeah, so I was like, hey, have you guys ever heard of Batesville, Indiana? And you're like, no. You can say, oh, no, I can't, I can't say I have, or, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's just a polite way of saying I can't say I have. Or, like, somebody's saying, hey, have you seen Die Hard the movie? And you're like, no, I can't say I have heard of it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, let me tell you about it. Uh -huh. So it's just a polite way of, of, of saying I can't say, like, no, I haven't heard of it, or yes, I have. I'm like, okay, I don't know what to tell you about it. So, um, what a coincidence. I think you have an example for this. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I bring my camera and you have your Canon coincidence, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's it's um it's like a chance yeah. occurrence that's happened. So to meet yeah, it's a photographer. Mm -hmm. and also Yeah, so it's it's uh, like we didn't plan like to talk about cameras, yeah. but this can yeah. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Mine's got a little flip out screen on it, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like, we didn't know, but, you know, we yeah. had a shared love of cameras. It's, um, and, um, a coincidence. It's a coincidence, yeah. yeah. It's just like a chance occurrence that it happened. So. Um, was it worth seeing? I think uh, you would, or for, nice. for money to go there, it's like that. Yeah, so it's, it's like yeah, it's good to see. Yeah, it's, it's good to go see. So it's it's like your opinion. So um, so you'd be like, oh, you know, Tom, you went to blah blah blah, or like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about like going to visit that lake. Is it worth seeing? You what, get, what's your opinion? Yeah, you, what's your opinion about it? Like, yeah, it's worth seeing. Like, you have to go see this. So um, and that kind of leads into the next one. So you don't want to miss it. So what does that mean? Uh, you, should visit it. You, should, you should visit it, like you should make some time, okay. like I highly recommend this place. Um, number five, be sure to take it slow. Careful. What's yeah. number five? Be careful. We, we just go, uh, be sure not to miss it, so it's like making, like I highly recommend it. Don't uh, skip it. Don't skip it, exactly. Uh, be sure to take it slow, so to be careful. Um, what else could it mean? So in the in the story, he says, "Be sure to take it slow on the path at the bottom of the falls." So he's talking about it being the dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you're paying attention. Paying attention. Yeah. Okay. So if uh, like I was, I told you about like, oh yeah, go down to like White River State Park, but make sure you take it slow. Mm -hmm. So there might be some like details or something you need to see along the way that you know you might miss if you're like quickly walking past something. So if he was quickly walking past the, pole, the falls, there might be like a bird's nest or something. And so he's like taking it slow to, be split, to make sure he doesn't slip the fall, but he could also be taking it slow to make sure he's getting all the little details and everything. It is fine with the eyes also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to make sure you're more like cautious and observational of everything. So yeah, make sure you take it slow. It's good life advice too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number six. Do you think it's doable in two days? Uh, do you think it's enough for two days? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's enough for two days? Uh, so when we talked about long but easy. Yeah. It's long long uh, easy. Yeah. Yeah. And so what we were talking about last class too is um, when you're describing like is it doable. Uh, you're talking about like both like time and physical like components of it. So, like let's say you visit a park for a day and like you went running and jumping and like you did like zip lining or something like something that's like really physically demanding. And then the next day you go swimming at the same place or whatever. Like doing both in two days might not be doable. Like you might want to take a little bit of time in between the two just to let your body rest or. Um, like it's doable that like you could visit both those places in a day, but your body might hurt in between. So it might not be as doable as you think in like two days. Like, so what, like Miami Beach. Exactly. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of stuff, and so you, yeah, you can go up and down the beach in a day or two, or whatever. But you're gonna miss a lot of things. You're not taking it slow. So. Uh, do you think uh, Miami Beach? 
double and five, six days. <laughs>